एवरीवन आई एम शुभम ए मार्केट रिसर्च एनालिस्ट एट एडोवेंट सॉफ्टवेयर माय टास्क हियर इज टू अंडरस्टैंड द ऑर्गेनिक मार्केटिंग डोमेन एंड मेक आवर ब्रांड विजिबल टू आवर पोटेंशियल कस्टमर्स फॉर मैक्सिमम रीच आफ्टर द पेंडेमिक दीस डेज मोस्ट बी2बी ब्रांड्स स्ट्रगल टू गेट एडिक्वेट विजिबिलिटी फ्रॉम ऑनलाइन चैनल्स हाउएवर सर्टेन बी2बी ब्रांड्स आर रीइमेजिनिंग the marketing function to make the brand omnipresent and generate leads efficiently so for further discussion on this line today we have with us rahul pande a, mar- a product marketing manager who will share his experience on trends in marketing after the pandemic a few challenges he faced and how he successfully managed to create a brand within 6 months hi rahul how are you hi shivam i am good how are you uh, nice to know that uh, well uh, why don't you tell our audience something about yourself rahul right so um, as you were mentioned uh, i am the product marketing manager for one of the leading b2b enterprises and um, what uh, our uh, enterprise does is it creates the value products across the line for the domains with cutting edge technologies such as ai ml and pushes the industries towards the digitization okay by the way rahul uh, where are you based out of exactly i mean are you working from home or have you resumed your office uh, so shiva sure, you know i mean this is the covid times that are going on how um, the times have changed it's the work from home for me as of now but again yeah it's a dual kind of a situation work from office work from home so i would say a hybrid model works yes, yeah. yes. right right so uh coming to the main part can you tell us about the brand you are building and give us an idea of the product you are supposed to market right so um, as i mentioned uh, previously as well uh, what we are creating is we are making an autonomous testing product which is quite futuristic in the approach and which uses the cutting edge technologies such as ai ml and and um, different kind of algorithms by which our aim is to automate the complete life cycle of the testing across planning to design to execution i mean the complete life cycle of the testing should be autonomous and what we aim is we aim towards an autonomous testing solution and to deliver the better software faster to the customers so this is what we are into and Yes, so we are dealing with a few customers. We are working with a few customers, and we have seen the great potentials and the great benefits with our product. You know that is uh, really interesting to know. Uh, I myself come from a mechanical engineering background. This software field itself fascinates me a lot. However, right. I have not heard many uh, about many innovations happening in the software testing field. Let to see how AI ML uh, enables various streams in the software domain. So, Shubham, by the way, uh, yes, so Shubham, yes. yes. Just one thing. Talking about yes. the innovations you mentioned, we indeed uh, have a patented technologies, and we were granted the patent, uh, patent through the US and the different uh, regions. So that is a part that we are unique into the market. Right. That's very interesting, Mr. Rahul. So I mean, from this question, I have multiple questions arising in my mind, Rahul. Right now. so the first one would be who are your target audience i mean is it some kind of quality assurance engineers or are you targeting multi multiple kinds of audience like you told in usa and other country okay so see shubham uh, when you go to the market uh, when you understand your customers so you create a buyer journey in the buyer journey there are different people who are the decision makers for you they take the actual decision whether to buy the particular uh, tool or the service or not then you come on to the um the side the actual user side so for us also it's a similar kind of a situation that goes on for us uh if you uh, kind of uh, ponder over the uh, buyer the uh, decision maker it would be the ceo the cio the cxo the executive uh, chains which right. will be taking the decisions for us the ctos um even the uh, you, you say you see the new roles are coming up with the devops head or the head of the engineering so these kind of people at the higher management side i would say now 
uh, when you go into the actual user of this product, it's not only uh, see the market is expanding and we are into the DevOps phase. So it's not only the testers, which will be the actual user of the product, but it will be the developers as well. They will be the estate engineers. Even the testing lead can use this product and she, uh, they, I mean, with the dashboards itself, they can easily get the business outcomes and they can see the results. I mean, for us, there is a hierarchy of the buyers as well as the, the digital makers and the actual users as well. So yeah, that also the question. Right, yeah. Okay, Rahul, uh, can you explain how you take your product to the market? To be precise, how you reach out to your target audience? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yes. So, what I mentioned previously is uh, you have the different, different buyers, you have a different, different uh, actual users and different person. So, the consumption of the content that plays a very important role, right? I mean, uh, for one, the CIO, let's say the CX or the CIO, they won't be interested in getting the nitty gitties of the product. They won't be interested what kind of algorithm I'm using. They would be interested in the business outcomes. What are the changes that I have been making? So uh, for that, we have a different kind of contents and for the, I mean, the actual users, we have a different kind of content. And in that way, uh, we came up with a different kind of a marketing approach. And uh, what we do is uh, we create the collateral starting from the messaging. That's the base of the, uh, I mean, something that should go on. The messaging of the product, what we need to articulate to each of the people, each of the audience. And then we have the uh, target personas, which I explained to you. Uh, then we have the elevator pitches. How to define our product? What is the tagline? What we are into? So that you will uh, just know 10, 15 liners, 15 liners. And I mean, it explains what is our product is. And all these collaterals, I would say 20, 25 collaterals, these are the collaterals, which I mean, our team is working and our team is getting ready, uh, making it ready. And based on the collaterals with all these marketing artifacts, uh, we move towards the market. Now, see, the testing industry is into the billions. I would say it's a large size. And what we aim into, we aim into a pie for us. We are looking for a share and for that share, we have we did our lot of market research. We identified the competitors. We identified the space where we belong to, and we had a different different calls with the analysts as well, the gardeners, the foresters. We discussed, and we identified a space. Okay, we cater to this kind of a space. We are not the traditional players anymore. We are into the new AI ML space, and we are into the new uh, technology side. So we belong to this space. We belong to this part, and hence. Um, we created a kind of collaterals. We cater to those needs, and this how this is how we created a marketing strategy for us. And then we went into the so we identified the different channels as well. You would be knowing that marketing is not only a particular channel; it goes into the different right, different scenarios. Yeah. It's an organic kind of thing. But again, there are different channels. You go into the campaigns, you go into the events, you go into the social media posts. So we identified different channels, and then I mean uh, we went on doing it. Uh, I mean. Uh, we went in go, going ahead, so we created a social media post. We shared it on a LinkedIn, Twitter. Announcements were done, press releases, the videos, the collaterals were shared. Uh, events were attended, and even even uh, uh, I was a speaker at one of the events uh, uh, at one of the conferences and showcased what our tool is. I gave a product demo. So I mean, there are different different platforms, and this is how we are doing the marketing. Right, right. Uh, so Rahul, uh, as a marketer, have you observed any significant trends in marketing after this pandemic? Mm, right. So see, sure. Uh, the challenge is uh, marketing is not a particular vehicle for promotion only. How it has evolved, let me tell you how it has evolved nowadays. It's more of an ROI based, uh, it's judged into the ROI based uh, calculator. And it's not a single uh, vehicle for the promotion. You need to provide the revenue. Now, since the pandemic, the marketing game has changed tremendously. What people are looking into is 
it's not only i mean uh, the marketers are not only asked to go into the events and do the promotions and distribute the brochures and talk with the these no that's not only the perspective the game has changed things have gone virtual the meetings are going virtual so now uh, you can attend the events virtual you have to go through the uh, i mean everything uh, you have to work virtually over the different different uh, things you have to go through the different promotions everything you have to do virtually now there are different different sides that are coming up there is a stiff competition going on in identifying the contents how to go with a particular content how to identify this how should i how should i be on the top of the search when i go to the competitors i find the relevant contents of their not mine so i see okay 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 so some of my my target is to increase the revenue so uh, somewhere the challenge is how should we brace up the marketing side how should we come up beyond this post covid era and how should we go on increasing the revenue for us so yeah so there are different different facets that are going on increasing the revenue from the marketing side and then how should you create the attractive collaterals for the, i mean uh, to the customers how you, how the customers can approach you easily how you can nurture them i mean i mean nurturing is not a easy process it's going on uh, it's into the tricky tricky side i would say so i mean these are things these are the challenges that we see the, um, that we see that uh, the market is witnessing into the marketing space right right so rahul considering you had to cope up with this new trends uh, did you face any challenges in selling your product or in brand building exercise i mean where are there any instances okay okay so see as i mentioned um, we want revenue we want leads and we want money that's all we care about for us the marketing has to be revenue driven roi based so we are explore different different channels so she shivam first of all what we understand is we have talked about the different channels in the marketing but when you go into the different channels you measure the roi of that let's say i'm going into the event i need to check whether the leads that i have got from the events participating in the events and uh, spending a chunk of the money is it worth i have have i got the quality leads then i go into the social media side social media side we do the paid promotions we have done the uh, campaigns and different things but again uh, as i mentioned the return was not satisfactory for us so um what we thought is um why don't we create the contents that are quite appealing to the customers and when the customer searches for uh, let's say um, how to do the autonomous testing or how to do the regression testing they should see our content first so what i want is what I, my team wants is we want to be the top of the google searches we want to be the top of the list when the customer searches for us not only he searches for us when he asks for the relevant content it is the uh, us uh, where we should appear on the top and they should be able to identify us and they should be able to connect us and ultimately it should boil down to the lead generation and the revenue so i mean you are uh, answering your question what we did in the new way um uh, we identified the contents that we could write actually i mean uh, our focus was uh, let's go and change the game completely earlier we were doing the marketing in a way where we were thinking that um, i mean we are doing it from our end uh, what we want to showcase for the customers but now the game has changed what the customer wants we identified that first what the customer is looking for in the testing space and then our team identified once the team identified what our target audience is looking into we created the contents on that we created uh, the, the collaterals we created the ebooks the blogs we wrote the blogs we wrote the ebooks okay so this is what you need this is what you mean by this 
and we created the content. We added the beautiful stories. Um, we came up with the different different solutions, the diagrams. Uh, I mean, the team worked very hard into it. I, I would say. So um, we created that, and then once we were good, we went ahead with that. We came up with the promotions on those only. And let me tell you that this was. I mean, uh, this was not a paid one. This is where our team went through. They worked and this was a collaborative effort. And then we went ahead. We part, I mean, uh, we created the content, we wrote it and we published it on our channels. We shared it through social media. We promoted it in the events as well. And then uh, we took the content uh, on a website. And uh, right, I mean, in a way, we were successful in reaching to our audience. Uh, we are very positive about the results. But again, this is something new that we tried and uh, uh, we are saying, I mean, we achieve uh, something over there. And uh, I think I think uh, people uh, say it, some people say it as organic marketing and SEO. So this is what we focused on. Yeah. Fantastic, Rahul. I'm glad that you assess the channel effectiveness quickly and change your strategy in marketing. I mean, yeah. I have heard similar stories from other marketers as well. We do we startups are mushrooming these days. They quickly get through the initial phase, but to scale, it becomes a Herculean job to master specific channels and convert leads into paying customers. So, I mean, they could listen to this and get great insights from it. Hey, uh, I have one last question for you. What was your outcome and how did you achieve these results? I mean, could you share some insights on that as well? Right, okay. So, um, uh, from the outcome that we did, uh, so basically, yes, thanks, thank you. So, what we did is uh, we worked together with Innovent Soft Team and uh, where they helped us is they helped us in identifying the target audiences, the keywords and the target content that we we, uh, we should create. And uh, so based on that, it's a, I mean, it's a mutual approach. So our, our team, our, our marketers, they work and uh, they also gave their recommendations. They commented and then, I mean, uh, from the collaborative effort, I would say, um, we uh, were able to identify the content and we were able to write it. And uh, as you can see, we somewhat came from, uh, there was a color change, I would say, simply it was from red to green for us. Um, earlier, our average positions were different. Our, we, were, uh, and we were going to different states and we were not working on uh, very promisingly on Google searches. But now, as you can see on the screen, we got a tremendous jump into the number of impressions. We got a tremendous jump into the number of uh, I mean, uh, clicks and the average positions. So let's say for each of the every content, the average positions for uh, these keywords, it jumped significantly, I would say. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, this was uh, only for the two uh, contents that we put up on the website within a short period of time. And um, what we expect is uh, we'll try to work on a similar uh, process and um, we are indeed uh, uh, very optimistic about getting the leads, the quality leads, I would say, getting the quality leads through this channel. And uh, what we are targeting is we can do some promotions and uh, I mean, my next, my, my, well, the only target for me is increasing the revenue and getting the leads. So what my target is, I want my team to work on this and get me the revenue and the leads for the table. So that's what we aim is, but the start is good, I would say. Right. Uh, I mean, that was really interesting. So at the end, thanks for joining us. I hope our audience will get more insights into the power of organic marketing and how it can help any B2B brand to generate more traffic and eventually convert leads. All right. Thank you for joining us. For any query, feel free to reach out to us at info at innovantsoft.com. In the meantime, you can check out our website for, for our platform, which can help you achieve organic marketing quickly. And it's free after all. Bye-bye. Take care and see you soon again. Thank you, Shiva. Thanks a lot.